Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby League Team Manager 2015. I have no idea what episode number this actually is, so uh, let's move on with that. Uh, here's our team lineup, same as last game, don't think there was any changes at all. Um, Lol he and all that, still in reserve grade, and I think I don't think I can bring him back up anyways, but they're not going to be coming back into the side at this point in the season. Um, all our guys just, <sighs> the form we're in is incredible. Let's have a look exactly, what has our form been? Wow, just incredible, all those weeks. Um... Where's the fixtures? Look at that. Win, 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 win. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven game win streak. Two more games to go in the regular season. That's Pen Penrith Pants, who we're taking on in a few seconds. And we've got the Eels. Both very winnable games. Um, one's at Canberra, obviously, this game coming up. So, we should be uh, doing the job on them. Um, but, you know, Parramatta are a pretty strong side. That uh, not Parramatta. Um, Panthers, they are a strong side. But I'm not really sure how that reflects on this game. Um, got a few skillful players. Moylan and that. Quite good. Um, let's have a look. So Moylan in the world class category. I don't know why it's world class. I just didn't change it. They originally had him there. Um, yeah, Peter Walsh, Jamie Seattle, a good combination there. Seguiaro is a great player. Um, yeah. Oh, and for the finals, I'm going to have to change all the numbers because I want official numbers. So they got the more aggressive pack, the better halves. But we got the faster backs. So that's nice. Um, let's go ahead, go into the game, encourage them. I actually think we've got a good enough four pack to match them, at least. And we've seen, you can't really take too much into account those um, stats here because it doesn't really mean much when we get into the game because every game we seem to have better teams that have better stats and um, it never seems to work out for them. I think I'd love to target Jamal Idris. I think he'd be a weak point, possibly. Dean Vara is a good defender, so uh, going on his side, not the greatest, probably. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly where we would exploit here. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. First set's always hard to get a nice little... Oh, here we go. Clean pair of heels, takes it around. Um, the fullback, Jordan Kahu scores. Great start to the game, 4-0 after 4 minutes, very much like the last game. I was just saying how it's usually pretty hard to, you know, start off the game real strong and score a try in that, but we've actually done it pretty well. Also, Panthers' fitness has dropped a lot. Didn't I didn't catch what it was at the start of the game. Um, it probably was in the 90s or something, but yeah, they've dropped off a lot. More than what I would have expected, to be honest with you. So we're just going to play a nice, safe, simple game at this stage. Oh, here we go. Who was that? Baptiste. Damn. Alright, so we're just going to go shift it across the field here. Hopefully we have some numbers here. That'd be nice. Oh, here we go. Baptiste again. Takes it around the fullback. Go on, Kurt Baptiste. Oh, he's not going to get to the line, but he passes off to Jack White, and who does? 10-0. Two tries, two sets. Oh, what a start. I feel like I'm just I'm a broken record at this stage, just going, oh, I can't believe this is happening, what a start, blah, blah, blah. But it's just, we're in that good of a form at this stage. And I, I think that was Jamie Seward who came flying up there. That was pretty crazy. Jamie Seward's not that fast. I mean, he's fast, but obviously not that fast. But Baptiste being great. Um, obviously, Hodgson will come straight back into the side. He's just returned from injury, but fitness-wise, not quite there. Um, but yeah, he'll definitely be... Back in the side um, when it's when he's ready, but yeah, it's, it's such a shame for Baptiste because you know he's been great for us. Kahu, Moylan makes the tackle. Another break up those edges though. It's a pretty good kick, or oh, no, it's not. Let's um do a mad dog here. Nah, we'll we'll save that for another set. There are already a few tackles in. Inside ball, make the tackle. There we go. Adam Docker tackled on the halfway line. And that's Dean Varro tackled. Fourth tackle going across field. They've got numbers here. Great tackle there from Kahu. Fifth and last. Good thing is, going to be no 40 20. It's going in the in goal, though. No, it's not. Taking that from my own end, but not the, not the best. But so if we can work with that. Oh, straight through. I think as I was saying that, I wasn't even looking at their game. I was looking at the the plays. Baptiste running across field. 
We're going through the gap there. Here's the gap. Once again, Joseph Polo this time. Fifth and last. In and behind. No, it's not. In and behind. Straight to him. Let's leave it for now. I won't do any calls. We'll save them for like the second half or when we need it. If things change, we can change it. I want to make some subs, but we can't do it right now. That's good play. Dean Vare. You got Simmons. Okay, now we're going to have to make some changes. Shillington will come off. Cassiano will come on for Vaughn. Um, Baptiste, bit, he's not tired, but like he's down there. They missed the goal, so that's all right. So we're going to make three changes here. Fenton will come on, just sort of shore us up in defense a little bit. Um, what do we want? We'll just leave it for what it is now. And try and hold out to half time. Oh, that's a good play there. Yes, good work. Third tackle, going cross field. They've got some numbers here. Inside ball. Sick of money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dean Varro. Oh, no. See how I'd shown the post. Damn, all our good work undone. Straight before half time. Completely nearly. Oh, <laughs> completely nearly. That doesn't make sense. Uh, nearly all gone. We're going to have a two-point lead, you'd think. Not going to make any calls at this stage. Yeah, we'll save them completely for the second half. I think we should be okay. Even if they do score again, I'm fine with us. I think we can um, run over top of them in the second half. Look at that. Their fitness is quite low. Um, and like I said, we've still got all the calls. We don't have our line break anymore. Oh, sorry. Our clean whatever heels it was. Shouldn't be getting through there. And one more tackle here. Up the wing. Come on. White makes the tackle, and that's half time. We're going with the lead. Uh, it's not ideal, but we'll take it. Kurt Baptiste in the 60s. Uh, the only really tired person in our in our team at this stage, and he should be tired. He's done a lot of work, a lot of little breaks there. We're pretty good with the ball, though, so once we get the ball, we're, we're all sweet. Uh, although Panther's going to be starting off with it, but we're going to call a mad dog straight away, and uh, hopefully that can come up with a bit of an error. We can um, do the scrum play, and there's try time. That's... Ideally how it will go. Obviously it doesn't always work out that way, but we just have to wait and see. Okay, so there's kickoff. We've called the mad dog. Driven back. Takes the line, driven back once again. You'd think at this stage where they're playing they're just gonna be doing one out sort of stuff. And there's the drop ball that we needed. Jeremy Lattimore it was. Also, uh I'm not sure when this is gonna be made and he could be getting Hundreds of thousands of views at this stage. But uh, if you haven't seen it, Denim Kemp used to play for Broncos. Um, that's a podcast. I don't know why I sort of thought of it, but oh, I know why I thought of it. Because uh, Jeremy Lattimore has actually been on it. But yeah, he does a little podcast, video podcast. You can go and watch him interview. It's actually pretty good to see insight some of these players. Um, there's always been an element where I'm like, oh, I wish they could do something like that. Someone would do it. And it's good that there another player has actually started it. So I'm pretty happy about that. So go ahead and uh, take a look at that. It's called... Uh, what's it called? The Locker Room, I think, is what it's called. So, yeah, I think they've done a few players. I'm not sure at the time of record recording this, there's like eight episodes or something. There's probably heaps more by the time this video is up. Oh, can't get through. What we need to do here... I don't know what we need to do. Defend, that's what we need to do. We need to do a playmaker shutdown. Okay, here we go. And there's the drop ball. Another drop ball. Peter Wallace this time. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> we haven't got that normal play that we do. Let's go for another advance on. Oh, here we go. Straight up the wing. What a try. Excellent little ball playing there between the forwards and everyone. Let's um give Baptiste a little bit of a break. Put Shillington back on, I think. For Boyd. No, for Cassiano. We missed the goal. Joseph Paulo will come on for Tohu Harris. Paul Vaughan come on for Shannon Boyd. We'll do the ER overdrive here. And we get a penalty. 
good stuff. See, the overdrive's still in effect, I believe. Should be able to just smash it through the forwards here. Here we go. Shillington. <laughs> I got Moylan ahead of him. Just can't quite push him off, but steamrolled someone else there. Takes it to the line to 16, whoever that is. Cartwright. The hooker spot, not quite uh, the speed as someone else. Joseph Paulo. I think we can run it in the last. Oh, we scored. We scored. Holy shit, Paul Vaughan. Muscles his way over. I was trying to change the, the play in time. Didn't even need to. Didn't even need to. Uh, where is Baptiste? Getting back up to the 80s. Once he gets to the 90s, we'll put him straight on. We could put him on now, to be honest. Have we got any more plays up our sleeve for this? No, we don't. So we've got a defensive rally and we've got a scrum sort of thing as well. So that could uh, come in handy. Going across the field, Bryce Cartwright in slow motion here. Gets it off to Carter. Off to Edric Lee. Edric Lee's going to make it to the line. That was comical. So slow was Bryce Cartwright. He's not slow in the game. It's just, I suppose, because he's playing out of position. He's just in that spot for some reason. Well, not for some reason, but like he's slow for some reason. That's what I'm trying to say. So 32 to 10. This game has worked out exactly how I thought it would be. As you can see, um, Panthers just running out of gas, really. And we're coming home real strong. All the players up our sleeve. Yeah. I think that's some pretty good coaching from myself. As good as you can on this game, I suppose. But whatever. It's a big tackle from them. Very big tackle. They've pl they've put on some sort of play themselves. Too bad it's not going to work. Because we're just going to use a scrum play. Maybe even score a try ourselves here. Go down the short side, don't go over the sideline. Sean Fenton. Oh, he palms off one. Goes infield a little bit. Can it make it to the line? Big Sean Fenton. He fucking makes it to the line. Incredible stuff there. Sean Fenton runs, what, 80 metres, 90 metres? Palms off someone, palms off another guy. Makes it to the line. So realistic, this game. Uh, Sean Fenton, great pace. <laughs> Anyways, 36 to 10, another flogging. Yeah, we are just on fire coming on to the finals. Incredible stuff here. So one last play. And then it's full time. Game over. And then we got the one last game. Hopefully the, um, the Bulldogs and whoever the last team is. Is it Broncos? Whoever 3 and 4 are. Hopefully they've dropped off uh, and lost their games. And we can just sweep into that fourth place spot. That'd be great. So a man of the match. Joseph Paulo, man of the match, followed by Shillington and Paul Vaughan. So, great games for them. Unlucky Panthers, it wasn't your day. Let's look at the ladder. Oh, so we're still in fourth spot. They both won. Get out. Get out of here. Damn. How, how much did they win by? Around 24. For around 25. So, it starts there. So, they beat... Wow, they beat the Knights comfortably. And Broncos just beat... Rabbitohs, god damn. So it comes down to the front, the final um, the final round to see if we can get a top four spot. Who would have thought that at the start of the year? Not me. Our goal was not to get Wooden Spoon according to the board, so I'm very happy with that. Anyways, that's where the video's going to end. Hopefully I've liked, or enjoyed it, I should say. If you can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMyT. Like me on Facebook, it's in the description page below. And uh, leave comments and that sort of stuff, and I'll be sure to get back to you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!